Hello everyone, welcome back to uh, Plan With Me. I am planning for the second week of May and I'm going to be using our new kit called Golden Hour. I'm in love with it. So I'm gonna use for the my Hobonichi Weeks, I'm gonna use our Hobonichi Week kit for Golden Hour. And here are the boxes. And then for my dailies, I'm going to be using our journaling kit. And I'm also going to be just talking about, you know, how I got into planning and the DEK Designs business and how I've been like in it kind of, how I've been kind of in and out of it as I've been growing up, going through college and all of that. So first I'm going to start with my weekly spread while I kind of talk to you guys. So my mom started this company with Emily and I like seven years ago. It's gonna be eight soon, but it's been seven years and it's crazy how, how much the, um, the company has grown and kind of evolved during that time. At the beginning of our company, we were actually making planners and also I believe we were doing like greeting cards too. My mom was doing greeting cards. I remember when we took our first like photo for the company with Emily, Dawn and I with all of our planners and stuff like that. And I remember also making like a canvas with our logo on it. Like a, just like a creative fun canvas that we actually still have. It's in our dining room. So I believe it was kind of like in high school when it was all starting up and I would help out with the company to make some extra money. My mom was really the brains behind all of it. I would help during the summertime. I would help cut stickers and mail. I remember at the beginning we'd actually like put a bunch of like washi tape on the outsides of our mailers to decorate it and that was fun <laughs> and then i started my journey with going to college for being a teacher and so i would help every now and then when i could but it really took up college took up a lot of my time And I finished college and I got my first job being a teacher in a sixth grade classroom and I was so ecstatic and it was such a great experience for me. I'm so grateful that I had the opportunity to teach. However, I have chronic migraine. I've kind of always had it my whole life and it flared really bad uh, when I was teaching. Well, I mean, I've always had migraine, but it was never like chronic, you know, but it became chronic after I started teaching. And it was to the point where I just, I couldn't teach anymore. And it was such a hard decision because I spent all that time learning and getting my degree and I loved working with the kids. It was such a fun time and I liked also making an impact on kids lives. But I had to do what was best for me and my health so I sadly had to leave. Then after I left I really just spent that time trying to get better. 
I was doing all this research, all these diets, anything and everything that I could do, I was doing it. And during that time, I worked part-time with DK. I, I would work as much as I could with having a migraine. And that's kind of when I really got deep into planning. Like, I would plan as a teacher, but um, I wouldn't plan for, like, me, for my daily life, really. And I found that planning was super helpful for me with documenting my migraines and what could have been triggers for it. And keeping track of medical stuff. That's how, how I became more a part of DEK Designs and then started into full time. Thankfully, I found um, this company that's like pain reprocessing therapy that has helped me a bunch to where I'm now in like remission from having chronic migraine. I still have migraines, but it's not every day like it used to be. And so like I was doing a lot of things with our Boo Bear character. Like I'd make kits for Boo Bear and I'd draw Boo Bear doing fun things. And then I was in charge of the monthly subscription boxes. We bought that huge cutting machine that's like an automatic cutter and I worked on that for a good few months until we switched it to where I'm filling the orders out and Dawn is the one that is in charge, I guess, of the big machine. <laughs> but yeah, I'm so thankful for this company, our company, and for my mom for supporting me through all of my medical problems. And also I just found planning to be like an outlet for me, like to make sure to plan me time basically and to take care of myself through that. And yeah, I'm super happy to continue full time with the company and I've been doing YouTube videos and I jumped onto Reels on Instagram. That was fun. It's just, it's fun to be creative and work with art and meet new people. And yeah. One thing I make sure to do every week is to have my exercise slash movement tracker because it's super important for me to get in some movement every day because it helps with my migraines. And it doesn't have to be like anything crazy like running or anything like that. Just like going on walks or doing some yoga or stretches. So that's what I use this Monday through Sunday for every week. Let me know how like planning has affected your life below like when you plan what are you planning for is it just kind of like chores and the, the daily stuff or do you plan like for exercising or do you memory plan because I've been thinking about wanting to like plan for like positivity, I guess, like to have like a gratitude planner, I guess. Just to have extra positivity in every day.
So this is my finished week for the week of the Monday, no, bleh, for the week of May 8th. And then I'm gonna do my weekly, or I guess my daily. And here are the sheets I'm gonna be using. I like to use journal kits when I want my week, my, my dailies, I guess, to be a little bit more open. I also like the style of the journaling kit with all the shapes that we have on it and the washi. We do offer the journaling kits in clear matte sticker paper, not just uh, the regular paper that we use. So I'll have to show that to you all sometime. And our journaling kits work well too if you are doing like a bullet journal and you maybe don't want to do your own headings and stuff like that and doodles.
And then after that, I kind of go and use these functional boxes throughout the week as headings that I can use and stuff like that. And then I have some layering pieces that I want to do and then these uh, geometric patterns. Okay, so this is my week. And as you can see, it's a lot more open than last week's spread. If you want to see last week's spread, look on my playlist, uh, Katie Plant With Me. Or I'll put it as the card at the beginning of this. So yeah, there's my dailies and then I'll jump back really quick to my weekly. So it, it's very cohesive because this time I matched the Hobonichi Weeks kit with what I was doing for the daily. So I really like that. I'll make sure to pop in and show you the finished results at the end of the week. Hi everyone, we are jumping forwards to Friday the 12th of May. And I'm just showing how my planner looks after almost the end of the week. So um, I have like a lot of writing and what I like to do after like near the end of the week is I like to add stickers then to go along with my writing. So for example, for Saturday, I plan to get bruschetta with Ryan. 
So I'm getting my Abu Emotions sticker sheet and I'm going to pick the one with Boo with her tongue sticking out. Like she's saying yum basically. I'm gonna put it next to that because I'm so excited. I love Bruschetta. Like this is probably one of my favorite sticker sheets that we have with Boo. And for Thursday, at the end of the day, I was just done. <laughs> so I'm gonna use the Emma Nope sticker kit. Or not sticker kit, the quarter sheet. For my Lynn, my Lynn Health Zoom meeting that I had over the phone, I'm gonna put the Boo cell phone sticker next to that because we zoomed over the phone. And then I started to listen to Beach Read by Emily Henry on audio and I'm liking it a lot so far. It's like, it's basically like a summer read about a girl that goes to like a beach house and she's trying to write a novel and she's struggling. She's struggling and her college nemesis ends up living in the house next door and it's all the drama. For film and edit, I'm also gonna put the Boo cell phone because I do that on my phone. I had a migraine on Monday, so I have Boo migraine slash anxiety I'm gonna put right there. And then we have our Mother's Day sale on Sunday, so I'm gonna use the celebration Boo emoji face for that. It's probably my, one of my favorite emojis that we have with Boo. This is a celebration one. Okay, so this is my week overview, and now I'm gonna flip to my daily. This kit I used is Golden Hour. Okay, so it's a little blank, but that's okay. What do you guys do with your blank spaces? Like, usually I doodle, um, and then other times I'll put, like, quotes, but I'm curious to know what you guys do. What I've been doing recently is I've been kind of, like, journaling about my day or just writing my thoughts down. And I like to put sticker emojis next to it to kind of react to it. Like on Wednesday, I had terrible allergies. So I'm going to use the Boo uh, Kleenex sticker to go with that. Because it was so bad. <laughs> Thursday was a rough day for me. So I'm going to put my, the Boo crying emoji. Because <laughs> it was just bad. I almost got hit by a car. It was rough. And I ordered my fiance's birthday present on Thursday. So I'm gonna put a little Amazon, the Boo Amazon sticker. And then the Emma work sticker next to my list of everything that I needed to do that day. And for Friday, for Friday, I'm going to do the Emma Thoughts sticker just because I've been brainstorming some ideas of stickers and stuff that I could do for starting a book journal, which is exciting. And I want to try doing that. I've tried it before, but like two years ago, but I put too much pressure on myself with it and it wasn't fun because of that. But I'm just going to try it again and be more light about it and make some stickers. That'll make it easier for me to journal and go from there. And then Saturday, I need to do some more research. So I'm gonna put the boo with the cell phone next to that. And then with the bruschetta, I'm gonna do the heart emoji sticker. And then Sunday, I don't really have a plan for Sunday yet, so I'm just keeping it open. Well, let's see, maybe I can do some markers. And this kit reminds me of that song, the Golden Hour song that recently came out. And I like it a lot, so I might just put a quote from the song.
which it kind of matches that orange that's down there. I say I'm not in the mood and then I just start doodling. <laughs> I feel like the color is a little bit different from what the cap looks like. That's okay. I'm like going back off of this picture. Okay, let's see how it goes. I'm not sure. <laughs> Whoops. I don't know. <laughs> Thank you. 
It's been a rough week. <laughs> so why not? So this is my final flip through for the week. Except for, you know, Saturday and Sunday are kind of up in the air, but I usually don't doodle on the Saturday or Sundays. Well, I did last time, but I think that's all the inspiration I have for this week for doodling anyways. So yeah, I hope you all have had an amazing week. Please make sure to subscribe to this channel to get inspired for different spreads and different ways of planning with planners or even bullet journaling. Like this video if you enjoyed watching this and comment below if you have any suggestions or ideas or any comments about the video. Thank you so much for stopping by and I'll see you next time. Bye.